Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to output all of your Easy Drummer tracks into Cubase so on separate tracks so that you can edit in Cubase rather than the Easy Drummer mixer. First of all you want to load Easy Drummer. You'll have drums already so I'm just going to pop in these so that we've got something to work with and then I'm going to go over to the mixer so if you can see we've got all our individual tracks here and then we've got numbers and outputs corresponding at the bottom here so we are going to give each one of these an individual number and I like to start with number two and I'll explain why later in the video So once you've got to that point there, we want to come across to your Easy Drum Drummer panel or your VSTI panel over here. If it's not in Cubase, you can click that. Sometimes it's on this and you have to just click over there. We're then going to click the down arrow, active outputs, select them all for a second, and then just uncheck the ones we're not using. We're up to 13. Yeah, it's fine. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've done them all just for the sake of, uh, of just doing it once like this. Um, so once we've done that, we can see that all this became populated with all our tracks. So from there, we can come back over to this and we can see we've got a load of tracks and they all correspond to these so it's good to name these uh, and I'm going to do that now cool so once you've got to this point here you have pretty much done with this I mean you might want to set all these to zero you can do that by holding control uh, or just setting them all to zero yourself manually um, I can't remember what the shortcut is to reset them but yeah you probably want to set them all to zero so then you can then adjust the volumes in Cubase yourself so we're then done with that and we can come over to bring back in this now the reason I don't like putting number one as the kick is because sometimes when you have this closed down because you don't want to see it all, uh, say for instance I want to name this just drums, um, it seems to name this first channel as drums so before when I've gone like this and had kick and um, I've had it closed like that I've kind of confuse myself so I've just shifted all the uh, the outputs up by one and then I can just call this drums and it, it makes it how I want it to what I want it to look like so let's just do a quick test Cool. I hope this helps you and um, on my next video I'm going to show you how to, once you've got to this point, how to um, route and output your um, all these individual tracks to audio tracks so that you can um, have audio uh, produced files rather than always running off the MIDI data from Easy Drummer. Cool. Thank you for watching and see you again.